look at that. Is that notorious B.I.G? Let's go. Yes, we know that. Primal, let's go. Oh, look at that G1 look. I'm not the one to fear, Prime. There is a darkness coming. Oh, they're going old school. Let's go. It was all a dream. Look at that Porsche. Pull over! I'm not driving! <laughs> That's a unique shot. Oh, beautiful. Oh, shit, that's some new technology. <laughs> oh, they're actually going for it. Of all the threats, Predacons. From both your past, will they have Terracons? As well, and future. You've never faced anything like this. Oh shit! Let them come. Predacons, Terracons, Prime, um, Maximum. They've gone the full nine yards. Look at that. It's like beast rules. <laughs> now watching this trailer is giving me old school 2007 transformers vibes and also the animations as well so if you don't know much about the stories you have uh, different types of factions Cyber of cybertron of different types of transformers you got the predacons you've got the terracons you've got um Maximals, and then you've got the Autobots, and you've got Septicons. It's, it's so many things, so many factions out there. And they're, and they're bringing them all into one film. The director of this, Stephen Capel Jr., he directed Creed 2. When he was brought on board, I was a bit skeptical because he never done, like, a film as this, as, you know, with this magnitude. But his work from Creed 2 was insane. It was great. I loved it. And when I knew that Michael Bay wasn't coming back, I just uh, I just realized that they're going to go a complete different direction in terms of directing style. Now, if you watch Transformers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Yeah, so those five Transformers films, which are all directed by Michael Bay, they all have a distinct look about it. Slow motion, um, people sweating everywhere, lens flares, just uh, a lot of um, uh, patriotism, <laughs> of American flags everywhere. And uh, then when Bumblebee came out in 2018, uh, starring uh, Hayley Stanfield and uh, John Cena, it went in a different direction, but it still did quite well. Now, this film is more or less going to be a sequel to that, but it'll be kind of in like his own universe. If anything, it seems like a soft reboot this film does now don't expect it to be as hectic and insane as the other five transformers films directed by michael bay because that's what they call him bayhem that's literally a name for him uh, as a director he just blows shit up for no reason someone's talking bang someone talking blow shit up someone's talking plane comes down let's be let's be honest a lot of the transformers films were just there as a popcorn feature film it wasn't there uh, with hardcore storytelling you got steve uh, steve jablonski who is a great composer i don't know if he's coming back for the for this transformers uh you've got obviously you got stephen capel jr who's directing it but dominique fishback who was in project power and judas and the black messiah anthony ramos who did films like in the heights hamilton he was also in the bad guys so you've got different types of films which these actors have starred in but you haven't seen him in a film of this magnitude with anthony ramos is more or less uh, more or less musicals but he looks like he fits the bill for this film and i am looking forward to the the, uh, the predacons the terracons uh, the autobot everything just looks beautiful like this is like old school transformers back in the 90s when you have beast wars 
and they obtain all these different types of instead of vehicles there's animals um obviously when you see uh, <laughs> when you see primal it just looks ridiculous i'm looking so forward to it and uh, it's going to be a breath of fresh air compared to the other transformer films we've seen so you're not going to see some really not bad dialogue but some weird dialogue and some heavy heavy cgi wars and battles this should have a good story behind it and i'm i've got a lot of faith in stephen capel jr if you like the trailer, if you like the reaction, please like, share, subscribe and comment and hopefully I get to see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.